So it's not Friday, and this isn't real data, but I thought I would show you how you can make an animated bar graph really pretty quickly and easily using some of the um, components that we have in Create Studio. You could make this bar by getting a rectangle and then animating it using um, custom animations of position and scale but there's a much easier way that you can do that. So let me show you what we did. I would definitely recommend a background, at least a color, um, but something. And I actually just had some backgrounds and this was a fabric background, so I just will extend that. And you can make the background whatever you want. First, we need to make our grid. So I'm going to take a square. You can use a rectangle. I'm going to move it before I make it thinner because it's very hard to grab when you have made it thin. Now I will change this. You can make it whatever color. I think I had black. We can do white. You can do whatever you want. Then I'm going to make it a little thinner. And I'm not going to play with the size too much, but that might be too thick, but you could make it a different size and you can do however you want it. I'm going to duplicate that. I use Command D. You can also duplicate it here. Then I'm just going to see, see the little round marks on my, where it's highlighted. Once that comes, that means you can twist it and turn it. Then I'm going to use my shift and down arrow key. I'm going to use my shift and right arrow key. And I'm going to blow this up and it's not quite matching. So I'm going to use just my arrow key, not my shift. So I don't move it as many. We'll make that'll that'll work for our purposes now. My problem is I'm probably going to make this bigger. Yep. It got wider, so I'm going to have to reduce that. So I don't want to spend a whole lot of time in this tutorial resizing, but you'll want to make sure that they're the same size. Then you're just going to do the same thing. And because I don't want to mess up what I did, I'm just going to grab another square. I'm going to reduce the size. I'm going to bring it over here. I am also going to turn on my grid. So then I can make sure that I'm putting them in equal distances apart. I'm going to change that to white. I might move that so it's more centered on the grid line. It's not right now. However, you can make the grid bigger or smaller. So you can make it whatever you want it to be. And then I'm just going to select that, duplicate it, shift my arrow key. Then I'm going to duplicate, shift and arrow key, duplicate, shift and arrow key. These are probably totally off, but I'm, as I said before, I'm not going to worry too much about that as we're doing the tutorial because you can figure out and just make sure that those are equal distances. Then I'm going to turn off the grid because that would be very annoying. These are also way too big. I would make them much smaller, thinner than what I just did. So that will bother me. So I'm going to delete them and just, whoop, I deleted the back, I duplicated the background because it was hard to grab the square. I'm going to duplicate that. Again, I'm not doing the grids, so you're going to make sure that those are equal, but that's where you would go with that. Now the fun part. Actually, one of the first things I'm going to do, because we're going to be layering things, I'm just going to select all of those, make them a little longer, select them, Group them with Command G. 
or you can select and right click with group. And then I'm also going to lock it. And the reason I'm doing that is because we're going to have a lot of layers and I don't want to move the grid. So now what we're going to do is go up to our effects and components and we want to make our bar graph. So I'm going to grab the progress bar and drop it on the canvas and you can see it comes right here on the timeline. As I play with the scrub head, you can see the green bar moving. And we can change so much of all of those components. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just shorten it to be as long as the, the grid that I have. Then I'm going to move it under the group, which is why I locked the group, because we want, we're going to want it to come from behind just so it doesn't show on top of the white. I don't want it down here, clearly. I need it up here. So I need to first, I'm also going to have it wider. I'm going to shorten it. I'm going to hover over the edge, and you can see the little rounded arrows. Once you have that, you can rotate it. Then I'm going to place it. So that it's coming from as close to the line as I can. But if it's a little bit behind it, that's okay because then it won't show on top of the white. So now we have our progress bar. And I would move it over a little bit because clearly you're going to have the graph there first and then you're going to have the animation. So let's look at our options for the progress bar. You can use it as a progress bar however you want, but I like it on this for the graph. So we can change the color of it. Well, first, let me show you, you can use a whole bunch of different presets. This is the default. You can have it rounded. You can have it with um, the gradient. So let's change it to the gradient. As you can see, as I play this, it's going really slow. I don't want it that slow. So we can change how fast it's completing and where it stops at. So say I want it to stop, say, that, say I have percentages here and I want it to stop at 35%. It's still taking a long time to get there. I'd have to check, but I think I had it way down at like 20 or 25. And now it goes faster. So you can play with that for however fast or slow you want that to be animated up. But I clearly, I wanted it a little faster. So I did it down at some number in the 20s I can check. So now we have it going pretty fast. But that black really looks horrible. We can also change the background. So, okay, let me say I'll go to white. But that still looks kind of icky. <laughs> I don't like that either because I only want the color to show. So that's easy fix. Whatever color you, whatever color it is, if you take this slider bar and move it all the way to the left, you don't see it anymore. It's opaque. The opacity goes completely down. So there you go. And then all I did is once I had my timings all set, I just named this whatever, say this was happy. I just selected it, Command D, or you can duplicate it. And then I, maybe that's sad, I don't know what it's gonna be. But you'll see, I didn't move it, so it's just growing behind that one. So I'm going to select sad, shift, and use my right arrow key so I don't move where it is here. I don't want to move it up or down. So I just use my shift and arrow key, and now that one will start animating later. But I don't want it at the same value. So let's say we want that one at 58%. That's going to keep growing 
until 58%. And I have them at the same speed. So when it comes and when it starts can be changed by just moving it like this on the timeline. So that's really all you have to do to make a fun one, a fun graph. You can duplicate it again, move it, shift, right arrow key. You can go in here, and if you want to change the gradient, they're using the middle gradient, you can click on the color, and maybe you want it to be purple. Well, that's pink. <laughs> and then you click on the end, and then say you want it to be purple on the end. You can just change the colors. You can have them all the same color. You can change the colors. You can do whatever you want. So I think that will get you where you have to be for there. What I did do is I added these little emojis just for something fun. And that was just a matter of coming up in here, grabbing whatever emoji I want. So let me very quickly show you how I did that. So let's say for the happy. I'm going to go up here. I can very quickly find happy by putting it in my search bar. Oh, well, I guess a whole bunch of them will come out because I don't know why. Where's happy? We'll take laughing. I'm going to drag that. Clearly too big, so I select it and I reduce the scale. I also, because they're kind of short in duration, I went to the effects, clip speed, you can drop it here on the canvas or on the timeline. And I just reduced it to make it as long as it could be. So that made it twice as long. Then what I did is I looked to see, I probably want it bigger on that size bar. I'm just gonna size it. So it's centered on the bar, but I also needed to animate going up with it. I am going to move those so it doesn't distract me. So I need to do some animating of my emoji as well. I'm going to move him down. I can still see him. But I am going to, that's going to be okay because I'm going to mask him. Then I am going to animate position linear, drag to my last keyframe. And where does the graph stop? Let me see. That was a short one. So it's stopping right about there. I'm going to move my keyframe there. Then I'm going to go to my first keyframe. And he's down here. And we're going to see if that works. But now you can see he's going up with the bar. But this looks bad. He's hanging down underneath. So I need to get a shape to make a mask. I'm not going to worry too much about the size. I just want to make sure it's covering the whole emoji. That was a problem with the party one <laughs> because it was kind of moving around. I'm going to go down here to my emoji right here and select it. Why did I move that? I meant to get it out of the way so we could see this. I'm going to select the emoji that I animated, right click and group. And I'm doing that so that my animations don't get messed up. Then I'm going to select my group, hold my shift key, select the square I got for the mask, right click and mask. So now we don't see them underneath. And let's see how that looks. I'm probably going to want to move my little guy down a little bit because 
he didn't come up gradually. He just showed up. So I can go in my group. And I can move him down a little bit. I can also unmask it and open it if I'm not make if it doesn't work so smoothly. Let's see how that looks. And there he is. But did you see that? The bar is coming up before the emoji. So I am actually going to unmask this so I don't have to keep going in the groups. And what I might do is just move my progress bar over a little bit. And just play with those timings to make sure that it is working out. So now I'm going to select my group and my mask again, my emoji group. I'm going to mask it. And let's see how that looks. That's better. The beginning is halting because I think it's when I use Loom on the computer um, as I record. But that looks fine. And then I just did a lot of duplicating once I animated it. So then I wouldn't have to redo it all. I just did Command D. I shifted it to whenever I wanted it to start to, to animate up. Shift, right arrow key. And maybe I want this to go up to 50. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to copy my little guy. That's, uh, I'm going to group. So what I did is I forgot to group the progress bar right here with my emoji before I duplicated it. So I'm going to select both of those group them, select it, duplicate it, move it over. So it starts after the first one, shift, right arrow. I'm going to go in the group. I am going to make the progress bar go to 50 or whatever I want to make it to. Go back to the main timeline. And you'll see them come up. And then you'll see this emoji is going to stop too soon. I have to animate it to go further up. So I can go in my group. And I can just move him up. I'm not going to go for all of the timings right now because this tutorial will get too long, but you're just going to make sure that it is stopping when the other one is. And it clearly has to go up a little bit more. Whoop. And as I said, I wasn't going to do this when you're I'll just waiting for this to be over. So you're just going to go in. I usually would unmask it again so that I could do it without having to go into the groups. But let's see. That looks better. And you would change the emoji anyways because you wouldn't have it both ones. But I'm going to stop now because it's got longer than it should be. There's how you can animate a graph. I'll show this one more time. And you can see I made mine go even faster than what I did in the video that I just made with you. But have fun.